Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I need to do another declutter. I have been going through my makeup collection and getting rid of things that I find myself not using anymore. So today I'm going to be tackling my blush collection. I didn't realize how much blush I had until I pulled it all out. There's a lot. A lot a lot a lot so thank you for watching and thank you for being subscribed and my personal public service announcement for me to you in a very loving way is don't overspend I realize now that my curiosity at times gets the best of me and I have way more stuff and I remind you that I have a YouTube channel and uh, a very small source of income from the ads that play here that I can reinvest into my uh, channel to be able to buy new products but if you don't have you know, a dedicated makeup budget don't end up with nearly as much stuff as I do. So I kind of have it, I, I know it's not terribly well organized, but I'm gonna see if I can quickly kind of get an idea of how much I have and we'll start from there. After a quick count, I have give or take 60 blushes. There are some containers where there are like three in a palette. Um, and so I just counted each palette individually as one, but there are 60 containers here with blush in them. Let's get cracking. Mm. I am gonna try my best to swatch as many of these as I can for you. Some of them I'm just not gonna swatch because I just know I'm not gonna keep them. And one that I probably can safely let go first is this. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. This is their blush trio for fair skin. And this is their Colorete Blush Trio. I really liked these a lot. I got this in a boxy charm a couple of years back, maybe two or three years ago, and I liked it a lot and I've used it a lot, even though it doesn't really look like it because you don't really need a lot. It's very pigmented, they're a little glowy. I haven't reached for this in a while and I am kind of sheering away from those more tangerine orange blushes for the moment, so I'm gonna let that go. Oh, this made me so sad. I can't believe that Marc Jacobs discontinued this formula. This is the Airbrush formula. This is the shade Kink and Kisses. Oh, I liked it so much. You could sit on more of the deep side or the fair side. You could run your brush over the whole thing. They do have kind of a satin finish to them. I think they're really pretty, pretty brush blushes. I think I'm gonna let this go. Oh man, that's a lot of Marc Jacobs. I got rid of a couple of bronzers from Marc Jacobs. <laughs> oh. This is from Makeup Geek. This is the shade Covet. It is a very intense blush, but it's a satin blush. I think I'm gonna hang on to this for the minute. And if you're wondering, you know, why is somebody so fair gonna be hanging on to such an intense blush? Because if you use it lightly, it looks like this. And it's so pretty. I really like this blush a lot. I like using more intense blushes in colors that you normally wouldn't think for somebody as fair as me, but really, really sharing them out. They're just gorgeous. This is a, a slightly glowy blush as well, and I like that about it. I've had this forever. I remember when these were kind of like all the rage on YouTube, these Essence Satin Touch blushes. Um, it's all right. This is the shade Satin Coral. I think I can let this go. I don't reach for it. It's been years since I've reached for it, and I don't wanna hang on to stuff I know I'm not gonna need. Do you remember the Balm in Stain blushes? I used to have all of them. This is the only one that I have left. This is the shade Argyle. It's very pink, much too Barbie pink for my taste these days, so I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna go through the rest of my Balm blushes while I have them out. This is Hot Mama, looks like this. It very much looks like, it's right here, like the NARS Orgasm Blush. I haven't used it in forever, so I'm gonna let that one go. I use this one a lot. This is the shade Frat Boy. It is definitely a little bit lighter in tone. I think I can let that one go. Oh, this is probably my most used Balm Blush. This is Balm Desert. Do I, I might keep this one. It kind of goes between a bronzer and a, but it's a beautiful blush. I might hang on to that. I have Balm Beach. Look at a lot of these. This one is a little bit, it's a very natural looking blush, but I haven't reached for it in a while, so I'm gonna let that go. The last one I have is Balm Spring. I really like these, you know, beach themed ones. It's right here. Mm. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep Balm Desert out of all of my balm blushes and let the rest go. I've been pulling this out every single time I've been doing a specific category, bronze or highlight. I have three shades in here that are all cream blushes. These are the shades. This is rose, this is violet, this is tangerine. I got the tangerine, I got these two in a kind of a spring duo when they were on sale. I think rose is the best shade for me and all three of these products, the bronzer, the highlight, and the blush, these three are the ones I use the most. I don't use these as much. The one thing that I don't really care for about these is if you don't use them every single day, you get kind of like a, a filmy layer over the top where it feels like the product is a little bit dried out. If you run your finger over it, you know, you definitely can bring back the emollient quality to it and it is still good, but sometimes it feels like there's a, a layer on the top where it's kind of dry, weird, but they still work really well. I'm gonna hang on to all of these for right now. I like the Jouer blush formula. This is the Adore Duo. I like that they have two shades in here. I feel like it's really smart if you're gonna do, you know, a palette to include two shades that are similar. They do have, uh, this one here has a slightly luminous quality to it. The other one's a little bit more matte, but these are natural and beautiful and they look great on my skin. I'm gonna hang on to these guys. One that I know I can get rid of is this guy from Too Faced. This is their Love Flush. This is the shade Justify My Love. I'm not even gonna swatch it because I've never used it. It came in a Too Faced kit when I bought one of their eyeshadow palettes and one of their mascaras. This was like a bonus. The color is too pink for me and if I don't touch it, I can share it with somebody else. When I first started wearing makeup, I was wearing nothing but Clinique makeup. My mom took me to the Clinique counter and the first blush we ever picked up was this exact shade here. This is Mocha Pink. And I remember doing a video, like my first makeup experience, uh, I don't know, three years ago, maybe more than that. And I picked this up then. I was surprised they still had the same shade. It's uh, right here. It's actually a really pretty neutral shade. I'm gonna hang on to it. I don't reach for it, but I think it's because I've got too much blush. But if I used it more. The one pet peeve I have is this long, narrow pan. I feel like a lot of the old fashioned blushes are kind of like this long, narrow strip. It would be so much easier if, you know, the pan was like this big, but twice as wide. It'd be easier for me to get a brush into there. I feel like I'd get better placement overall, but I am gonna hang on to this. These are the old Makeup Geek blushes. This is the shade Blind Date. When Marlena brought back her blushes after reformulation, she did not bring back this shade. This is such a pretty, really soft pink shade, but I feel like the formula is a little bit drier than I remember it being, so I'm gonna let that one go. This is a product that I really wanted to love and I could never really get behind. This is the Bounce and Blur blush, and it's in the shade Coral Cloud from Bare Minerals. It has a slightly putty texture, and maybe it's because I never really figured out how to apply it. Maybe I need to apply it with a different brush. You can kind of like leave an indent in there with your finger. It, it is kind of like a, I don't know, a little super shocky in that, you know, ColourPop way. I feel like the color is pretty, it's very coral and gorgeous. It's the sort of blush I want to wear, but I never really figured out the formula. Isn't that weird? It looks really pretty. I don't know. Do I keep it? Haven't used it, goodbye. I've had this Flower Beauty Flower Pot for a long time. This is the shade Sweet Pea. It's pretty, it's a kind of a dusty rose shade. I think I can let this go. I've had that for ever. Oh look, it's my little mini NARS orgasm. This came in like a birthday set from um, Ulta one year. It's very small. Ooh, it's more pink and metallic than I remember. I don't reach for this blush. I know a lot of people love that. It's definitely not for me, so I'm gonna let that go. I loved this blush when it first came out. This is the Benefit California. So this is what it looks like. It has a little bit of a satin sheen to it, which I like, and I wonder if I had less, would I use it? I'm gonna put it in a possibly pile. Not my yes pile, but my possibly pile, and we'll reevaluate when we get closer. Do you remember when everybody was Gaga for the peach collection from Too Faced? This is the Papa Don't Peach blush. Very, very, very frankly, does it smell like peaches? I feel like I've had this forever. I did hang on to it because the blush itself is actually really pretty. 
Mm, it does have that slight gold. I'm looking at it like, do I need this? I've had it for a while. It's losing its impression here. And that's kind of rare because I have so many blushes. Mm, no. Okay, bye. I'm trying to not be sentimental. This came in a boxy charm. This is Pretty Vulgar's Make Them Blush. And the shade is Hush Blush. It's actually a really pretty mauve pink shade. It's actually really pretty, but I haven't used it in a while. And I got rid of all of the rest of my pretty vulgar bronzer highlight. I feel like I can safely let that go. I picked up some products from Odin's Eye this spring and I did get one of their blushers, again, in a coral shade. Who's surprised? Not me. Um, this is what it looks like here. I felt like it was a little powdery. I didn't like the formula. Uh, this is from the Alva collection. It's their fruit blusher in ripe papaya. I haven't had it that long and I haven't really reached for it, so I'm gonna let it go. Time to go through my ColourPop blushes. Oh, this is one I've had for a long time. This is the shade Weirdo. This is the shade Why Hello. It looks like this. This is Weirdo, this is Why Hello. These last two are collabs with Kathleen Lights. This is the shade I Need Space. I really liked this one a lot. This is I Need Space. It has a little bit of a satin look to it. They're all very neutral, very natural looking, except for this last one. This one's My Sun and Stars, and it is very much a really bright, corally, with a little bit of a golden tone. I feel like I'm going to hang on to the last two of these, but I'm going to let the weirdo and the why hello go so those are going over there so we're getting rid of these two and we're keeping these two this is a single pan that i've had for a while this is from sydney grace this came in their mystery bag in 2020 last year this is the shade bell of georgia i feel like it's a little light even for me it almost looks like frighteningly i can't i i have never worn it and enjoyed it so I'm gonna let that go. I love Sydney Grace eyeshadows. I just am not a huge fan of their you know, blushes and maybe I just have the wrong shade. I emptied a whole box. Okay, now I have some place to put the blushes I know I'm not keeping. I have a couple from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one that I don't use that frequently. This is the shade Love Glow. And I don't know whether it's too pink for me or whether it's just one of those things where I don't use it because I have so much other pink blush. And this is my favorite. I use this so much. This is the shade Sex on Fire, and it's more neutral in tone. This is more pink. I'm gonna definitely hang on to this. Love that so much. The glitter. I just don't use it. It's expensive too. It's forty what dollars for a blush? Oh, I need to be better about picking right shades for myself. But um, the Sex on Fire is mm, beautiful. That's too much. I love this. This is Pink Dahlia from Cover FX. It has a shimmery and a matte blush here. Um, you can combine them however you like, but they look like this. They're super pretty. I'm gonna hang on to this. I also like that it looks and feels like a little bar of soap. It's silly, but it makes me happy. I love these blushes from M Cosmetics. This is my favorite. This is the shade Magic Hour. It's so pretty. It's just enough. It's not too much. It's not too bright. It's not, I love it. And this is Venetian Rose. So Venetian Rose and Magic Hour. I use these guys all the time. They're not going anywhere. Also fell in love with the Pat McGrath Divine Blush. I have the shade Nude Venus, which looks like this. Don't these all kind of remind you of each other just a little bit? This is also a shade I've had forever. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. This is the shade Diffused Heat. This is a little bit more pink in tone, but I do love and use this product more frequently. And I think that if I were to see it more, I'd probably reach for it more. I've had this for a while. I liked it, but I feel like the longer I've had it, the more difficult it is to use. It's the Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush from L'Oreal. I feel like it's getting a little bit of hard pen. Can you see the sheen like right here? It isn't as easy to pick up as it used to be. Like I feel like I'm, you can barely get anything off. There's just a little bit of glow and very little pigment. And for that reason, I feel like it's time to let it go. This is the shade 
I think this is Rosewood. This is another one of the Hourglass blushes. This is the mini shade in Mood Exposure. This is a really pretty, soft, mauve pink tone that I love. I got this from Beauty Pie. Oh, I wanted to love it so much. I just don't like the formula. This is their Super Cheek Powder Blush. I love their Super Cheek Cream Blush. It's a really pretty shade. I'm gonna let that one go. I got this during the Sephora sale from Patrick Ta. This is the duo that he has. It has a powder and a cream blush. I love that the cream comes underneath this little plastic window. This is the shade She's That Girl. These are gorgeous. I love the cream blush so much. And the powder blush is actually really pretty too. But I love using both of these so much. My last hourglass palette is a blush palette. This came out years ago. I forget that I have this and I forget how beautiful it is. These are definitely more sparkly in nature. Um, you can see they're really highly reflective. These are their strobe light formula um, and they definitely look more pigmented in the pan but they're really not that dark. They're super, super pretty. I feel like I might use these more if I could see them. I have so much stuff just hanging out. It's definitely time for me. I should have thinned the herd a while ago, but I'm gonna hang on to these. Just down to cream and liquid blushes. So I am going to start with three of my favorites. These aren't going anywhere. These are from Lisa Eldridge. These are the enlivening blushes. I have three shades. These are the three shades. It starts out with Venetian Red, with Dante's Dream, and with Island Glow. And these blended out are just so beautiful. This is the Venetian Red, this is the Dante's Dream, this is the Island Glow. They're so pigmented when they first come out and you would need probably that for both your cheeks. I love these blushes. I love the really glowy, dewy look they leave on the cheeks and the older I get, the more I appreciate a hydrating cheek product like this. Another product that is new to me is this So Soft Blush from M Cosmetics. I have, I think, three different formulas of M blushes. This is the shade Venetian Rose. I'm actually wearing this today. I really love this blush. It's not going anywhere. The other one I have from M is their Serum Blush. I know a lot of people really love this formula. I find I don't have success wearing this when I am actually wearing anything for base products. So if I'm you know, wanting to wear concealer. This is the shade Cherry Splash, and it's really beautiful, especially when it's blended out. It looks like this. It's very hydrating, and you don't really need a lot, but it's one of those that, because it is so emollient and so hydrating, that if you put it on over a set face, disaster. If you put it on even over an unset face, like with foundation or concealer, sometimes it can lift the product. So I only wear this on days when I'm not wearing anything. Like I'm just wearing a little bit of concealer here. I'll put on, this is a liquid blush, put a little bit of stuff in my brows and a lip product and I'm out the door. It is super pretty. I like how you can either, you know, make it more intense or less intense depending on how you blend it. But it's a super pretty product. Um, but she's a little finicky. I've had this forever. This is from Besame. This is their Cream Rouge. I have the shade Crimson. I was struggled to get the lid off. Ugh, it looks like this. I love this as a lip color because it's very, very red. And it is one of those that if you don't carefully blend it out, you can end up with like super snow white cheeks, like to the point where it looks like you put this just in one place and didn't blend enough. I've had this one for such a long time. I feel like it's safe for me to let it go. And if this was, if this tin wasn't so hard to get the lid on and off of, I might keep the tin for something else, like get rid of the product, but um, super pretty though. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I picked this up during the spring Sephora sale and I love it. It's the blush lights from Melt. This is the shade Polished. This is absolutely gorgeous. You can see it has a little bit of that kind of golden glowy look. Love, not going anywhere. I did a whole video several years ago on trying trusty products. This is their cream blush. This is Bora Bora Coral. I haven't reached for this. I didn't really like the way it blends easily. It looks really pretty, but I didn't find that it had any lasting power. That one is going to be in my discard pile. I love the cloud paint. 
I only have one shade. I have the shade Beam. It's a super pretty kind of peachy coral, but if you really shear it out, it, I mean, you need the smallest amount. It is so, so, so pretty when it is really sheared out. I really like the way it looks here. This is a little too intense for me. The only problem I have is that the whole, it gets kind of gooey and gross, as does the cap. But, you know, not everything can have perfect packaging. I've had this for the longest time and I don't reach for it. And I wonder if it's because it's been forgotten at the bottom of my drawer or whether it's because I don't really like it that much. This is a more liquid blush. This is the one from Flower. This is the Blush Balm. And this is the lightest shade in Pinched. I might keep this and see if I can use it more regularly. It's a little bit more neutral than the one from Glossier. It's also, I feel like it's more liquid and more hydrating. I actually really do like the formula. I'm gonna hang on to that one. I love this Milani Cheek Kiss. So, so, so good. It's a really beautiful formula. This, by the way, is the shade Nude Kiss. It's so pretty. I'm keeping that. I have mixed feelings about this. I really love the formula from Tower 28. This is their Beach Please cream formula, but this shade in Power Hour is too dark for me. I feel like it's a beautiful formula. I would love to get my hands on a shade that would actually work for me, but I feel like this one is too dark. And for that reason, I think I'm gonna have to let it go. I know a lot of people love these putty blushes from e.l.f. This is the shade Tahiti. I feel like it's a really pretty shade. I struggle to get this to look good on my cheeks. I have tried the e.l.f. stippling brush. I have tried a sponge. I have tried my finger. I feel like it looks really pretty. Maybe I'm just not using it right. I don't know. I feel like the problem with this is that it doesn't build well on itself. When you get a layer of it down with a brush, if you need to blend it at all, you start doing this and it starts to like almost disappear. Like now I feel like I have like a slightly bald spot right here and the more I try and like blend it over that then I find I, I have more and more bald spot. I don't I don't know. I'm not convinced this formula and me know how to work well together. For that reason I'm gonna let it go. And because I have struggled with the putty blush I have not been interested in trying the putty bronzer. I hear so many people love both of these products and maybe I need something that's a little bit more user-friendly. I have this multi-stick from Elia. This is the shade Dreamer. I have the same problem with this that I have with the Tower 28, is that it is just too deep for my skin tone. I feel like it's really, really, really warm, and you can blend it out and sheer it out. I just don't wear it, and I, I want to be able to use a product like this and really, really, really get use out of it. I think the formula is nice. I do prefer the Tower 28. This came in a Sephora favorite set. It was a full size. It's just not a shade I reach for. It doesn't suit my skin tone. And for that reason, I'm gonna let it go. I have four of the blush and highlight sticks from ColourPop. I forgot that the highlight sticks, I had them. I was planning on getting rid of these during my highlight, but I couldn't find them. And I do have two blush sticks. I feel like it's an okay formula. I feel like there are better cream formulas out there. These are the shades I have. Uh, this one here is Star Bright. This is Earth. This is Mic Drop and this is Mini Me. And I'll tell you, I love the shade Mic Drop on my lips, but I can only wear it for so long before it starts to actually dry my lips out. And for that reason, I'm going to let go of all four of these. I'm surprised I still happen to have one of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. This is the shade Count Me In. It's a really soft kind of peachy shade. I like it. It almost looks like there's a little bit of a kind of a mauve undertone to this even though it looks more peach but I feel like there it looks like there's more dimension. I probably don't reach for this because the shade and I are not, I feel like I have like a million of these. I do like the Super Shock formula, but I think I'm gonna let this one go. I have loved this blush since the moment it entered my life. It's from Beauty Pie. This is their Super Cheek in the shade French Raspberry. It's very, it looks so intimidating. But when you start blending it out, it is absolutely gorgeous. It ends up looking very much like an in from the cold cheek. 
um, like like the sorts of cheeks that you would see on a kid who's been playing in the snow. I love this. It's also gorgeous on the lips. It doesn't have to look this intimidating. It is actually quite lovely. That's not going anywhere. I also have a shade from Ritual Defeat. It, it looks very intimidating in the pan. This is the shade Blood Flower, but it's one of those that starts out rather red but the more you blend it in this is kind of like a really pretty um almost like a i guess i already mentioned this snow white cheek it, it it does end up looking really pretty but it has a very different tone than some of these other ones i like that it is very much a straight up red it looks gorgeous on the lips i won't put it on today because it doesn't actually go with the look that i'm wearing but I love this and I use it a lot. So these shades from Natasha Denona aren't labeled on the bottom and I was looking on the, the tube itself. It has Natasha Denona here and then it has Puff Paint here, but it doesn't actually tell you the shade names and it's not on the sticker on the bottom. This is the shade Tan, this is Daria, and this is Bloom. And these are absolutely gorgeous when blended out. I love, love, love these so much. I mean, they, that's just kind of like a, a, a hint of what they look like. This bloom shade you think would be a little bit more intense and it's not. I feel like you need to apply them and blend them in and then apply the other side and blend it in. I feel like they do eventually set down. You, if I really wanted to move them, I could, but I feel like the minute you start shearing them out, blend it where you want it. They're super, super pretty and I mix these all the time like, you know, the lightest and the darkest or the darkest and the medium shade or the lightest and the medium shade and I, I concoct my own uh, shade regularly with these and they're just like finger paints, just like boop, boop, boop and super, 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 super pretty. So these aren't going anywhere either. These are all the blushes that I'm getting rid of. There are 32 blushes here. That's exactly half. Wow, well, a little more than half. I guess I had 60 total, but I'm, if I'm getting rid of 32, that's actually really, really good. These are the guys here that I'm keeping. They're much smaller containers, but these are all of my liquid creams, and these are all of my powders here. I feel like I have a good split. As I was opening every single one of these, I realized I really fall into the, I bought the wrong shade of pink, <laughs> and I have a thousand, is what it felt like, peachy, coral blushes. I'm not going to allow myself to buy any more peachy coral blushes. If I'm going to get a blush, it needs to be a different shade. I also have realized that I do like some of these like deeper, darker shades. The ones that tend to run a little bit more plum, a little bit more bright red. I love the way those look and how they look, especially um, kind of like an in from the cold sort of cheek. Uh, but I do have some favorite formulas. I do have, you know, quite a few of the hourglass blushes and this is outside of what's already in those um, face palettes from the holidays. I do definitely see that I have some favorites and I want to keep what I know I'm going to use and get rid of the rest. I would love to know if you happen to have a category of makeup. Apparently every single category for me is like I have way too many but if there's you know is it blush, is it lipstick, is it brow products where you have way more than you need and you're always on the hunt for that perfect product, let me know in the comments down below. Or if like me, you tend to keep repurchasing the same shade of blush over and over and over, it's a peachy coral for me, let me know that as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna to continue to declutter my collection and I hope you'll join me as I do that. Thanks for watching, have an incredible day and I will see you again soon, bye.